Hi everyone, welcome to Irish Crochet Lace. My name is Alena Salimova and I'm here with you to make, finally make the uh, French marigold leaf for the flowers of Dune's dress. doesn't really look like the French marigold just because the French marigold is a odd pine leaf and mine is kind of the complete set with holes inside but just let's have a look at the leaf it's not French marigold I borrowed it from the campuses but generally it looks the same it's just like five or six leaves one standing out but if you look at it like this, you see the different leaves. But sometimes when there's plenty of them, you might notice something like this. So you've got the uh, solid leaf, what looks like solid leaf, and we've got some space in here, and the outstanding one. So this is what I'm gonna look, make now. And there's one more stuff to show. When we start crochet the, the leaf, I might say like five to seven stitches here. It's just to show that here I use, I leave more space and the leaf is kind of evenly spread, these little spikes. And here I've made the five stitches. And as you can see, all the spikes are on one side and the rest of the leaf is plain so it's up to you to decide which one you like to make you can also make another spike here if you like okay anyway let's get started again I use the uh, size 10 Turkish yarn it's called yarn art violet and it says size 10 but if you compare to DMC or Anka or Elizabeth, it's more close to something like 15 because it's slightly thinner than size 10 and thicker than size 20. So it's somewhere in between. Okay, and we start with a chain of 35 stitches. There's five more. And you skip the first stitch and you make 34 doubles into one double into each sti stitch of the chain. First row is always tricky. Yes, we're at the summer house. So lots of birds around. Okay, so almost finished with this row.
It's not just that when you make the double crochet, you pick up the uh, top part of the stitch, top loop, leaving the two stitches behind. Something like this. Because we will use the other part of this row in the when we move to the second part of the leaf. Okay. So the last stitch is ready. And what we do, I usually fix the thread, the beginning thread inside the motif. So what I do, I just picked up the thread, wrap the hook around it, and pick it up. So generally I have the working thread. Let me sh show it again. I pick up the thread like this and I wrap it around over the tail. This is it. Just this way I move the this little tail, one row up, do one chain, and we continue with double crochet all the way to the end. But then this time, you use the spare end as a padding cord, so you place it above the stitches and work around it. So once we get to the end of the, of the thread, you can clip it off. It will be secured inside the motif. looking through the camera so sometimes I slide off the of the, fr the frame okay so most of the thread is inside you can easily just remove it and continue with double crochet. Until I get to the point where I have about two stitches left. I want to tell you something about this lathe. The pattern was designed by Antonina Kuznetsova. She made it as a poppy tree, the uh, poppy leaf, sorry. And, but for my needs, I suited it as a French marigold, or you can use it for any other design. You know, if you fancy the Turkish painting or any other Orient style the, the patterns, there are lots of leaves like that, but they're quite longer, and stretchy and swirls and everything. So you can use, generally, if you know how to ch change the pattern, you can use this pattern and make something on your own. Just remember to mention that the original design was made by Antonina Kuznetsova and published in Duplet. Okay, so we have here the first leaf, or the first tooth on, the, on this leaf. And there's also, you know, there are two types of crocheters, those that count how many stitches I've done and uh, those that how many stitches are left. I'm the kind of that person. So when I make this, 
this pattern, I always count how many stitches I have left because for, for the first part, I need 18 stitches left. So I might just work something about here and then I start counting because it takes six stitches per each spike like this. So I've got three of them over here, that's 20. And we've got one over here. Uh, that, uh, sorry, that's 12. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is actually the seventh. So that makes 18, eight, 18 actually. And what we're going to do now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, and eight. So I've got one, two, three, four, this one, two, three, four, and the fifth one is actually starting the pattern of the leaf. Two, three, and four. To return over here, I make one one double and two slip stitches like this. Then I turn the work around, get, get more comfortable, so you can see. Okay, that's better. So if we skip the first one. We make the double into the first slip stitch and continue with double crochet. Okay, so I've gone down here and got one, two, three, four stitches and five, fifth one. So we leave them alone and we start making the little tooth for the next leaf. So we'll make five chains. It's two, four, five. Turn the work around, skip first chain and continue with DC. It's a little bit difficult to work with a camera stand between your arms. So I'll do my best so the work doesn't slide off. So okay, what we do now, we've done the, the DC all the way here and we do we pick up the thread and insert the hook into the stitch below. Make one double, make second double, and we do two slip stitches. Again, turn around, and we continue with double crochet.
go to this little appendix. Our next. And I made one double crochet here. You can make two, but I prefer to keep this little teeth longer. So if you leave it with like three, it will be this long. If you make it with two, it will be this long. So it's up to you. But I, I prefer to keep the three one. Double, we'll make the chain, turn the work, and return. So we've done the first tooth. Again, we came here, so we pick up the little thread here, insert the hook, pull the thread, finish the double crochet, another double, two slip stitches, and again, turn the work, and work with doubles. This video will be about 40 mi minutes. I'll try to make it as short as possible. So we'll cut it on, a, on the other side of the leaf as so it will be almost similar. Okay. Now I left about six stitches here. Remember those five here, six here, as I want to have very small space here, so I want the leaf sticking out over here. Oops, sorry. I want the leaf sticking out here, not there. Again, make four chains, five chains. Five chains, one for up, and four doubles over it. One quarter of the leaf is already done. And we are 19 minutes already. In the air. And pick up the thread, one double, two slip stitches. Turn the work and continue. So once you start working on the pattern, make sure that you have enough the, uh, elements because it doesn't matter how many leaves and flowers I count there's always big space left so I have to stop working on the on the template and start making leaves and flowers again even if I know the exact number of elements and the pattern is exactly the same as the previous one the template itself it's actually the the old dress of mine that I had when I was like 40 kilos slimmer. It's always turns out that you need at least another 30 elements extra. So you can make extra elements. And if they, 
If you don't need them, you can make a small handbag or decorate your clothes with the leftovers. Almost finished this part. Okay, there's two slip stitches. Turn the work and we're working on the final. final leaf on this part there's about 20 more minutes to go at least on the video okay so I've got two four six even eight stitches left here or maybe more and again I make five chains two four five skip one and one more here Again, double and two slip stitches, one, Oops. two, again. So soon I'm going to have a small break in my IT grades, something like two, three weeks. And in this time, I will try to make as much videos as possible. So you can write in the comments what kind of motives and elements you want to watch the video. And I'll try, I'll do my best. And we'll make the tu tutorials on those elements. So we've done to the base of the stem and over here we continue with DC but in this time make them 3 DC over the edge so that this part is nice and smooth and we're ready to start this to fill the gap. do the three chains do the yarn over and skipping three stitches 
into the fourth, we do the half a treble. Again, we make three, three chains, skip three into the fourth, we make a treble. Again, three chains. Do the two yarn overs, one, two, three, four, and a double treble into the second, into the, sorry, into the fourth stitch. Okay, we'll make two more double trebles, two, three, four. Double treble. And let me check how many I have. Yes. That's three. Again. Three. So what we do here, we do the half a treble, treble, three trebles one treble and double crochet. All separated by three chains and three stitches below. One, two, three, four. Okay, three. One, two, three. One treble. One, two, three, and four. Make a couple of stitches here. Three, maybe four. That's three is enough. So we'll have this kind of one tooth is longer than the sorry, one tooth is longer than the other. Same here. And we turn the work and continue with doubles make three under the chain three doubles under the chain not inside one double inside the treble One into three over one into three over one into three over. Again, one in, and the last one double over here. Now I have to go all the way back here, so we continue with double crochet. As you can see, the leaf is already shaping like it takes the heart shape. Like this one. It will be filled. Or you can leave it as it is if you like.
So on this part, we start the spike straight off here. So we've worked till the end of the, fill the uh, fillet mesh that we have right here in center. Now we continue to work in the same pattern. So we've got five chains. Skip one, double crochet into the fourth one. Oops. Pull the chain too tight so that the hook doesn't get inside. Okay, so the last moment that I need to show you in this leaf is that if here we had eight, 18 stitches left from the, uh, from the left side, here we will leave 12. Just because the first one, the first spike is already done. And we count. There's one, two, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I stopped just about right. I got two more stitches here left, and I make the two slip stitches. So we've got twelve stitches and two slip stitches here. And we finish the, the leaf just like we did the first part. So you can subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and just let me know what kind of elements of Irish crochet lace should I make the tutorials on and hopefully within the, with the, within the next month I'll try to do and shoot as many videos as possible and we'll show them once in a while on the YouTube channel And that's it. So you just repeat this part over here and you make three spikes here. There's one done. So two more left here. Okay, so see you soon. Bye.